What's up guys? So, exciting day today because we're at SeaWorld right now for their press conference for the new coaster coming out. Uh, thanks to our good friend Bill at Touring Central Florida, uh, he needed somebody to come out and graciously asked me to come out. Uh, thankfully, we were able to. And uh, I'm excited because there's a bunch of like stuff for like the Craft Beer Festival here as well that we get to try. And plus we get to see first information on the new coaster coming to SeaWorld, uh, which seems to be very, very interesting, so to speak. So let's check it out and see what happens. Some of the food I've had for the Craft Beer Festival here at SeaWorld and that we get to try as well. These waffles, look at the size of these things. This is awesome. And it comes with maple syrup, some butter, strawberries. I believe that's uh, whipped cream. Yeah, whipped cream. Oh my god. How amazing this looks. This is our first treat that we're digging into of the morning. This is a Belgian pecan waffle. It's got raspberries up here. There are blueberries, strawberries, whipped cream, pecan, maple syrup, all topped onto this delicious waffle. It is so good. And they are just hanging out here, eating our little breakfast, waiting for the conference to start. Some good stuff going on, lots of people here. Some piece of the track over there, as long as a little piece that we're gonna be able to sign right over there. It's a nice little setup for uh, the press conference here. I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about 10 minutes away from the... So we're going to start out with a horizontal track switch and a backwards launch up Florida's steepest beyond vertical drop. That's a 93 foot tall spike that's tilted at 100 degrees. And the fun's just getting started because we'll continue with a forwards launch, a backwards launch, and another forwards launch rocketing you to 52 miles per hour, all along a unique launch track that has an airtime hump on either end. And the fun continues with a top hat element, a near vertical climb and twist, and a near vertical drop, followed by low to the ground airtime hills, twists, turns, and directional changes, all along 2,750 feet worth of travel distance. That all sounds really thrilling, and it sure is, but the ride is accessible for the entire family with a 48-inch tall rider height requirement. All right, guys, we are signing a piece of the coaster right now. Jeremiah is signing his name. Look at that. Beautiful. Forever on a roller Look coaster. Look at that. Part of the coaster, and here's some of the coaster track as well. It's awesome that our names are gonna forever be on a coaster here in Orlando. Look at that. Of course, we had to add the horror element. <laughs> Love it. Beautiful. All right, guys. That was the little tidbits we got from the press conference. Um, so some interesting stuff going on. Pretty yeah. excited. I'm excited to see, like, I hope they, like, tell us whenever they post the track, like, they, they put in the track that we signed. Mm -hmm. So that, that way, like, so I know cool. where it's at, so if we're on the ride, I can try and look for it. Yeah, so we obviously got those on video, but we'll post our pictures on social media so yeah. everybody can kind of get a good look at everything. Yeah, um, I'm sure we'll get some more pictures and stuff to share, too, that you yeah. can see better, like, concept art and whatnot. Yeah, so now that we're done <laughs> with that, we are going to go through and sample some food and beer from the festival going craft on. Craft Beer Festival. Craft Beer Festival. And we'll let you know how all that turns out. Waffle was good. I don't think we told them if we liked the waffle. <coughs> waffle was good. Waffle was very waffle. good. Um, there's a burger over there. That I really want, so. There's a lot of stuff actually, but we did try the waffle. It had all sorts of different stuff on it. I think I went through and showed them that. Yeah, okay. Cool. But yeah. We are trying some more food. This uh, is a German skillet with mustard sauce. However, we did not get the mustard sauce. And what was this one? That was the Let me see. What you I always forget the name of it. All right, guys. Right here, we've got a brisket loaded potato skin, jalapeno shrimp, and grits fritter. And we've got here beer we go yogurt time. chicken wings with garlic sauce. <clears throat> so we, uh, we killed that. That thing is gone. That was really good. good. I enjoyed that. We also got some beer, which <laughs> the, I they forgot the names of them, but as probably you guys know, most of the, or we're not really beer drinkers for the most part. But this one's actually pretty good. That one is not. 
This one's got a, a good beginning, a, an okay middle. Yeah. And then like a, it, the aftertaste is not pleasant, but it's not bad. It's definitely. It finishes with a punch yeah, in the but, face. But this one. This, this one, one is, punches you in the face three times, <laughs> beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. Not a fan of dark beer, but this is this is pretty good at least. We're expanding our palates. Yeah, we're about to go dig into these. Uh, this, this wing, this beer and yogurt wing, which is a very interesting combination. And then this thing, which I forgot what it was, but it's got uh, jalapenos in it. Which, I love spicy food, so. <coughs> Alright, the wing was absolutely fantastic. Neither of us was really a fan of the fritter. Yeah. It, it might just be because it's so hot outside that the spice is, I don't know. I also don't like the key lime mustard because I'm not a fan of like mustard or anything. Yeah, he doesn't like mustard, but... It was, aside from that, it was good. It wasn't like spicy, like it, you know, jalapeno is supposed to be really spicy. So it wasn't like super, they're, they're very small, like yeah. little bits of uh, jalapeno, but it's something wing that, was amazing. Yeah, the wing was always going to be good, but I want that. this maybe we would like another time. Like I would come back just for the wing. Yeah, that wing was amazing. All right, for our last... Tasting is barbecue bucktown shrimp. It is shrimp on garlic, garlic bread. Oh, All right, amazing. let's get in there. All right, so we're done with our day at SeaWorld. Decided to go to the park afterwards. Um, Saw some cool attractions. Yeah. Rode a couple rides. Yeah. All the good stuff. Tons of fun. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. All the announcements. Some pretty cool announcements from SeaWorld, as well as uh, Bush Gardens for Guazi. We'll probably take a trip during. Uh, Hollow Scream to show you guys what the new icon for Guazi is, or the new logo, uh, the new name, which is Iron Guazi. And it pretty looks pretty cool. Pretty cool. So. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Bill, for letting us come out. Appreciate it. If you ever need someone to come out for you guys again, let us know. Really do appreciate it. It's awesome. Uh, tons of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And until next time, guys. Stay spooky.